hi guys it's me again delicious delights welcome to my channel so today's video is going to be about a fragrance that has uh, totally blown me away <laughs> this is one of my best niche fragrance discoveries of this year obviously the year isn't over yet but this is definitely one that i have been dying to tell you guys about for quite some time and i'm just amazed and excited about this fragrance okay so the fragrance is from a house called floraiku it's not a house that i hear a lot about or at all on in the fragrance community i have like a sample set here uh, that is really really beautiful and um, so let me say, let me just explain how I discovered it. I was at a niche perfumery in Amsterdam and they had this like new display of this house and I've never tried anything from this house. I think I've heard about it like once or twice or just randomly, I think on Instagram it was. I'm not really sure where I heard it from, but um, I saw this, it caught my eye. It was a beautiful, beautiful display. And um, I was really curious and I wanted to try out everything. So I was with Mark, my husband at the time, and I said, you better grab a seat because I'm gonna try everything from this line. Um, so the, the essay came, was there and she's like, do you need any help? And I'm like, no, I just wanna try these, you know, just test them out and stuff. I just didn't want, really wanna be bothered by anyone. I just wanted to take my time with it and just test each and every one. Uh, my nose was completely dead after it, but uh, in the process of testing, I came across two in particular that were absolutely amazing, but one that was just like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, <laughs> this is good. So anyways, before I tell you guys what it is, um, it is very, very, very pricey fragrance. That is one of the, the biggest downfall about, uh, with this fragrance. It's just too expensive. I just, it's just too much. <laughs> For 50 mil uh, plus a 10 mil travel size, it's 255 euros. For 50 mil. Now I always say price doesn't matter. I know blah blah blah. If you really love it you should get it. Um, I don't know. I kind of well yeah that is true but sometimes I'm like that's just too much. I don't want to spend that much money on a fragrance you know. And uh, also at the same time knowing that there are so many other other fragrances out there that are a fraction of that price and you know it's good too you know so it's kind of like a eh, kind of subject for me um i have done it I, there have been times where i i just say oh screw it already i don't care what it is i'll just buy it you know because i love it that much and other times where I'm, I'm just a little bit iffy about it i don't know anyways i'm blabbing anyways let's get into this fragrance oh no i was still talking telling you about the story uh so i tried every single one of them Mark also pretty much had a aha eureka moment when he smelled this fragrance as well. So yeah, it has been on the top of my mind for a long time now. And um, so I got the discovery set here just to retest everything. And it comes like this. There's this beautiful like envelope pamphlet with information on uh, the fragrances. Do you guys want to see that? I'll just show you guys quickly. It's a very like classy, elegant. It looks very expensive. So it's like that. And there's like these poems that go along with the fragrance, which is kind of like, I think Ducita does it as well. So maybe it's a trend or something. I'm not sure. But I'll read you guys the poem of the fragrance that I'm talking about, and the fragrance I'm talking about is called One Umbrella for Two. And um, I hope you guys can see that here. It's a beautiful bottle. It's absolutely gorgeous. Very different with a humongous cap. And the um, it says, Secret Teas and Spices. Our eyes raise to the sky. No rain. One umbrella for two. And then there's three notes listed. 
Black Currant Absolute. I absolutely love the note of Black Currant. I think it's definitely one of my favorites, probably like, if not my very favorite, like top three notes of all time. And then there's again, Gen Maicha Tea, which I love drinking. I drink it very, very, very often from, uh, what's it called? Uh, Harney and Sons. I have a big, big bag of Harney and Sons Gen Maicha Tea. And then Cedar Oil. So there's only th three notes listed. So I'll show you guys that again. There's the poem. Okay, so let's get into this. This is beautiful. Look at these come in. What are these? Well, I think 1.5 mils they are, I'm just guessing. And so it's right here. Let's get this on my skin. Oh, I've been testing, so I will find a spot. Yeah, here we go. Oh my gosh, you guys. <sighs> like, take my money, seriously. <laughs> I just was had this whole spiel about this being expensive, but holy smokes, this is good. Okay. So, to me, this smells like... I don't know, I got stuff on me. <laughs> to me, it smells like blueberry muffins baking in the oven. You just get this beautiful, I don't know, like, it's like a room full, like say if you're like baking blueberry muffins and then the kitchen windows and doors, everything's closed. So all of that beautiful, warm, sweet, fruity, kind of cake battery smell is being trapped and intensified by it, the smell being trapped with the, the windows and everything closed. That's what this smells like. Oh my gosh. It smells so real. It feels like I have a blueberry muffin in my hand that has just been taken out of the oven like two minutes ago and I'm just like biting into it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I have been looking for the perfect blueberry slash blueberry muffin fragrance for a very very long time this is the one you guys if you guys are looking for specifically that kind of fragrance a baking blueberry muffin this one you have to have to definitely test out it's just so so delicious and so realistic there's the tea note in there. I'm like, in the back of my mind, I'm not sure if it was suggested because I read the notes, but in the back of my mind, I'm also thinking of a steaming hot cup of blueberry tea. And um, I've had blueberry tea uh, from David's Tea. I'm just thinking that specifically. And you just add the milk in it so that it's creamy and it's already sweet from the fruit in it. Oh my gosh, <laughs> eating that dessert the blueberry muffin straight out of the oven along with a blueberry tea that has milk in it. That's what it smells like. <laughs> it says there's cedar oil in here. I don't really get any of that. All I get is this vanilla cake batter, blueberry muffin, delicious, warm, intensified smell with a delicious quenching fruit blueberry tea. It just totally is amazing. <laughs> it's, it's so amazing, you guys. It's like, whereas we have Enchanted Forest, it's kind of like that juicy berry. You're in the woods walking, crushing berries under your, your shoes, for example, which is like, oh, this like, it gives me that same feeling. Like how much I love this is how much I love the way this smells too. There are two different black currant scents, um, but done so well, so realistic, and just, uh, 
You guys, I'm just totally gushing here, I know, but I just think that this is definitely my favorite niche discovery so far of 2018. I have a few more. I'll probably do videos on that in the coming future. But yeah, this is it. It does not last for a long, long time, unfortunately. It does stay close to the skin after a while, but it's okay. It smells that good, especially in the opening. You will be like, oh my god. <laughs> if you love gourmand fragrances, I, and if you love black currant, um, this is definitely one to try. Yes, it's expensive, and I had that whole spiel, I know. I'm kind of on the fence still about it. 255 euros for a 50 mil plus 10 mil. Mm, it's uh, it's like on that border, like, should I? I'm like, literally, like, just, uh, like, in street in the middle. I'm waiting for something to sway me, like, to get it or not. But Christmas is coming, and I want to treat myself and get something good. And then I'm kind of deciding if it's going to be this or Spiritus Double Vanilla from uh, Guerlain, which I love too. I have like a travel spray of it um, that I'm getting through. But after that's gone, I'll be like, hmm, should I? I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, that was my quick thoughts review. I don't know what you want to call it of my favorite of the best niche discovery or one of one of them of 2018 if you guys have any other suggestions for stuff that you have discovered this year uh niche or designer please let me know in the comments i'm always looking for new suggestions to try new things if you're a gourmand lover this is one you definitely have to try if money isn't an object totally get this one <laughs> I might get it like, like I said you'll see you'll see when I do uh, a haul in the future so I hope you guys enjoyed the video I hope you guys are doing well and I will be back with another video soon take care guys see ya bye bye